Hey guys and welcome back. So before we start to learn Angular, we first need to know what a single page application is. Okay, so that's what we are going to have a look at next. So in this section, we'll compare what we will compare the behavior of a normal website versus that of a single page application, uh, which might give you, which should give you a good idea as to what single page applications are and how are they better as compared to normal websites. Okay, so in this example, we have uh, say a website named example.com uh, on the client that would be our browser. Let's say the user comes and types in www.example.com into the address bar and presses enter. What will happen in that case is that in the background, the client or the browser is going to send out a request to the server. And the server would respond back with the HTML of the home page of that example.com website. Okay. And the client will then interpret that HTML response as an HTML document and render it onto the screen. Okay. Uh, now suppose if there is a link to a page, say page A on, uh, on the, on the home page and the user clicks on that link, there would be a, there would be another request that would go on to the server for uh, loading that page A and the server would respond back with the markup of page A to the client and the client will then interpret that as an HTML document and render it onto the screen. Now, say if there is a search bar on page A wherein the user types in a query or search term and then presses enter another request would go on to the server to get the search results for the query that the user has typed in and the server would respond back with a new page that will contain all the search results for that particular query okay so are you seeing a pattern here yeah the pattern is that for each and every action that the user is performing a new request is going on to the server and the server is responding back with a new page. Okay. So multiple page requests are going on to the server, which is creating a lot of bandwidth usage for loading all the markup for new pages that the user is requesting for. And that is also reloading the client again and again as soon as a new page response is retrieved from the server. Okay. Now, if example.com was a single page application, as it can be seen here, only a single request would go on to the server to fetch the example.com website. And then the server, instead of responding back with a home page of uh, example.com it would respond back with a complete application package okay and this complete application package will contain everything there is to that there is uh, and everything that is needed to run the whole example.com as a single page application okay it will contain all the javascript it will contain all the templates which are called views Okay, and it will contain uh, it will contain all the basic logic that is required to run this whole website as a single page application. Okay, so um, in, in in single page applications, there are routes instead of uh, links that you have in in this case. Okay, so whenever a new route is reached, a new view is rendered on to the client. Okay, there is a parent view and that parent view contains or that parent view uh, loads a child view that the user has requested for based on the routes that the user has reached on. Okay, so um, no new page requests are then going on to the server. Only data requests are going on to the server, um, which might be required to load up a particular view or to load some information on a particular view. Okay. So in that case, no uh, multiple page requests would go on to the server, which would save up 
bandwidth okay and that would also enhance the user experience as the views would quickly load up as they only need data to load and not the whole markup and the whole markup is initially loaded for the first request that went on okay so the client is also not uh, continuously getting reloaded and that is another uh, enhancement in the user experience okay and that's why uh, single page applications are being preferred over normal websites because they have a more of a desktop like feel and the user experience as compared to normal websites is better in case of single page applications okay so that's what single page applications are and that's what their uh, advantages are we'll now have a look at how angular comes into the picture of single page application and how angular solves our problems